for over 50 years. Kirby Morgan has revolutionized commercial diving. From masks to helmets and everything in between. Dive into history with us as we step into the Dive Locker. Kirby Morgan Semi-Light Helmet. This was the next helmet made, keeping to chronological sequence. Clamshell models 5 and 6 follow this. The semi-light helmet was designed and manufactured during the same period that the clamshells were being made. The first one was made in 1966. This was the first of the fiberglass non-clamshell helmets made by the company and used a scuba regulator with a single port air-in control valve for defogging and backup breathing. A bypass in the control valve ran air to a demand regulator that had a wide range of adjustment to provide easy breathing, depending on depth, for the diver with air supply pressures from many different models of surface supply compressors. The hat had a neck seal and a face seal. This helmet was the third important product developed in 1966 because it is a direct path from this hat to the Superlight 17. This design's basic breathing system head cushion, neck dam seal, and adjustable regulator continued to evolve. The second most important product made in 1966 was the predecessor of the band mask. 36 of these helmets were made. Some of the surviving helmets have minor differences in the attachments and equipment. Kirby mentioned that the semi-lights became enjoyable for diving once the issues were resolved. A total of 12 hats were made for Dick Evans divers in New Orleans packed six to a crate in line with ample packing material for protection. Upon reaching New Orleans, the driver pushed the crates off the back of the truck. Unfortunately, both crates landed on their ends, causing the hats to impact each other. The one at the bottom was crushed, and the others sustained damage. Worsening nearer they were to the bottom, Evans returned them, and Kirby had to address the issues, sending them back in individual idiot-proof boxes. Morgan explained that the neck dam on those hats was bolted in place, resembling the hood on a band mask. Divers would put the hat on with the neck dam in place on the helmet. Although it worked fine, there was a risk of creating a vacuum inside the hat if the air supply shut down, necessitating the diver to break the seal on the neck dam for a bailout. Six or seven hats were sold to Ben Miller, who expressed a strong liking for them. When manufacturing ceased, Ben inquired about making similar hats, receiving permission with a caution about the bailout problem. Ben resolved this using a cam sealing neck dam, similar to Joe Savoy's. Eventually, Joe, feeling his ideas were borrowed, told Ben, I don't mind you stealing my ideas as long as you improve on them. Ben indeed improved with a better sealing cam, seemingly placating Joe. This concludes this episode of the Diving into the Kirby Morgan Archives. Stay tuned for the next episode of The Dive Locker.